What are your thoughts about Frasier and the girl he has in his videos? Let's get down to this question. Hey guys, I am back answering some of your questions. It's like a little update Q&A that I haven't done in a while. I think the last one I done was how I'm dealing with the breakup. You can watch that video if you want to, but that was like months ago now. So I'm gonna update this a little bit. And of course you have read the title. I will be having a look and answering that for you guys. I know everyone's been asking me about that. So um, it's not awkward at all, is it? Let's just let's go into this. Are you dating your duo partner? <sighs> guys what do you think what do you think no we are not dating we are only friends i can have guy friends you know i'm not dating him he's a good friend have you got over the breakup yet oh another juicy 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 question have i got over the breakup well it did hit me hard it's not fun breakups suck i have actually got over the breakup now i'm really happy i'm in a good place it took me a while of course it took me a few months it's not gonna go straight away like that but i'm i'm good right now i'm over the breakup i'm glad we are friends there's no bad energy there's no bad drama or whatever everyone wants to know because i get a lot of things said to me and i'm like yeah that's not true so yeah i have got over the breakup now but of course it hurts sometimes you know but other than that i'm good would you ever FaceTime your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> Ew, um, yeah, I'm down. I wouldn't mind a good FaceTime talk. Why not? Like, there's nothing bad that's happened. So, it's not going to be awkward. Mm, probably a little bit awkward, actually. A little bit. I think when you've been in love with someone, spent so much time with them, and then you break up, of course, you don't have that same connection you did have if that makes sense but of course like i wouldn't mind facetime call oh well when did you start gaming and what got you into gaming i started gaming probably two years ago but i wouldn't say properly okay you all seen my videos i did not know how to goddamn play did i when i was living in the face house everyone was gaming obviously and obviously with my ex he was playing games and he i was just I just loved it. I was so enjoying it and it was so inspiring to see everyone play games and getting really good. Obviously I tried and it didn't really go well for me until I switched to keyboard, which I should have done back then, but everyone was telling me it was worse. So I just didn't bother and I should have just listened with my instinct and gone with it, but I didn't. I love it. Are you in a relationship? Guys, I'm not in a relationship. I'm a little single, you know, pringle. And yeah, I'm single and I'm happy. What time do you usually stream? I usually stream around around 1 p.m. and I stream on the night around 8, 8.30 p.m. UK time. So if you wanna check my streams out, the description is down below. And I invite you guys, you can check my Discord out where that's how I invite people through my Discord. I don't just go through my social media or my chat in my streaming. So I always put it in my Discord. There's a little channel that says Epic Usernames. That's how I add people. Also, sometimes when I'm doing videos with you guys, I also mention it in my Discord. So if you ever want to maybe be in my video one day or play on my streams with me, check out my Discord. How's Chai doing? Chai's doing so good. He's fine. He's calmed down a little bit since coming back home. I know I had an Instagram for Chai and a lot of people's asking me why don't I ever post on Chai's Instagram anymore. I want to start posting, but I think due to the breakup, of course it was mine and Fraser's dog. I completely understand that. But even he said I should have Chai and I think Chai was so bonded to me a lot more because I was always with him. I always walked him, you know, we just both said it was right for me to take him. I didn't just, you know, people say to me, why do you just rob his dog? Why did you take his dog? I didn't just take Chai. I'm not a horrible person, guys. I don't just do that. The hell, that's, that's really deep. But yeah, with his Instagram, ever since I started posting, I get so much, he gets so much hate. It's great, obviously it's aimed at me, but he gets so much hate on his Instagram and it's just hard for me to deal with because Chai's Instagram is meant to be fun. It's meant to be positive. You know, he does crazy videos and pictures. 
but I get a lot of hate for posting on there, especially his username, it's just a bit awkward for me. But I feel bad changing his name, you know, but I know, I just, I don't want to mess around with it. And I just, I just don't like the hate that it gets on the page. So I just cooled down a little bit on there, but I want to start posting again. But I just want to clear that out that I didn't just take chart guys, it was a decision made between us both. And that is it. Are you ever going to drop merch? Guys, <laughs> of course I am. When that day comes, I will let you guys know. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that day. Do you regret dumping Fraser? <laughs> I don't know where this has come from. I feel like everyone assumes that I dumped him when that was not true. I don't know where this has come from. I feel like when your relationship so public, everyone assumes the worst and you're the bad person and chooses sides. No one's choosing sides. Like, I don't know where this has come from because there's no hate. We haven't been horrible to each other. We've just let each other be happy. That's what we wanted for each other is both to be happy. And no one dumped anyone. We both knew that we needed time apart. Why are you streaming on Facebook? I get this asked a lot. I put a little video on my Facebook page of why I changed over. I am partnered now with Facebook and I want to show you more content. But I am going to be posting short vlogs on my Facebook, which I'm excited and I post more pictures. Just different things that I can interact with you guys a lot more. So that's the reason. <laughs> the link is also in the description if you want to check out my Facebook and go follow and watch my streams. How small- <laughs> Keenan, you know how small I am. Go away. I didn't ask. For you to ask me something, okay? No. But yeah, I'm five foot two. <laughs> what are your thoughts about Fraser and the girl he has in his videos? Let's get down to this question because I get asked this so many times. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. If he's happy, then that's good. I'm happy for them both. I don't know what more I can say on that. Obviously, it's awkward. But I'm really happy for him. I hope he's happy. I wish them the best. And that's all I have to say. So yeah, I'm happy for them. Wish them the best. And that's all I've got to say on that one. What is your honest opinion on the charge shotgun and what has been your favourite season so far? I'm really enjoying this season. I feel like just because I've been starting playing a lot better this year. I'm enjoying this season. I hate the charge shotgun. I hate it with a passion. I can't use it. I'm really bad at it. So yeah, I hate that gun. Hope you're doing well. What are your future plans in life? Um, I'm good, thank you. I hope you're all good too. And my future plans, I want to drop some merch. I want to become a pro at Fortnite. I've been saying that for about two years, but that day will come. And uh, post more content for you guys. I've got two channels. I've got my main and I have my gaming channel. I post more gaming videos, different games, not just Fortnite. So it's like a variety of different games on that channel compared to my main channel, but yeah, you know, <laughs> you have to wait and see what's gonna happen this year. How's 2020 been for you so far? I'll be completely honest, like at the start of the year, I hated it. Um, obviously it wasn't a good time for me, but I was so lucky to have my sister next to me because she got me through it better. 2020 has just been crazy. Like it's just insane how much has happened what is going on with this year? But right now, I would say I'm definitely happy. I'm in a good place. And that's all I've got to say about 2020 so far. I've just been stuck indoors all the time. How did Kieran get... <laughs> of course he would want to say something, doesn't he? How did Kieran get lucky enough to have a doer like you? Mind-blowing, honestly. Do you know what? Just... just, just, just. So you're making me break my PC now. Would you ever consider dating again? If so, who? Of course I'd date again. I'm not never gonna date everyone, but right now I'm not looking for that. I don't really care about dating, but in the future, 100% I'll date again. I don't know who that person's gonna be. I don't know, but yeah, that's the answer. I will be, but right now I really don't care. How did you stay so positive when everything in life sometimes goes downhill? Good question. Um. Just keep, honestly, with me, I did go down a dip where I felt really low, but I got back up. Um, I just said, just gotta keep going. Life goes on, you know. That's what my tattoo says on my side, if anyone knows. Keep thinking positive, keep doing you, focus on yourself and your happiness. 
and then one day you just feel really good. You know? That's how I feel right now. So that is all the questions I am answering in this video. I just thought to update you all because there's a lot more that's happened. <laughs> But guys, I'll be back with another video very soon and I love you guys so much and you can check my streams out on Facebook Everything's in the description my discord my Instagram my Facebook What else have I got Twitter that I'm trying to use a bit more, you know, but guys make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be back again this week Bye guys